I'm Alexi and Ari's mom. Now that fall has begun, I wanted to start sharing easy seasonal crafts to do with the kids. Today I'm going to show you how to make a succulent topped mini pumpkin. Before you begin this project, please be aware some succulents are toxic, so we suggest you check which succulents you plan to use, or make sure your child is old enough to understand to wash their hands well after handling the plants. For this activity, you will need succulent cuttings, green moss or sphagnum moss, garden shears, a mini pumpkin, and tacky glue. When you pick your pumpkin, look for pumpkins that have flatter surfaces. It'll make it easier to glue the succulents on. If the pumpkin stem is too long, you can cut it off with your shears. Now prepare your cuttings. You want to look for smaller cuttings because you'll be putting them onto a mini pumpkin. If the stem of your cutting is too long, you can just cut them below the node. The node in this succulent are those little things that look like potato eyes. This is where you cut the succulent. The node is where the succulent will grow roots to drink water. For these smaller pumpkins, I suggest cutting your succulent stems anywhere between half an inch to an inch long. If you have a longer stem with some succulent leaves growing at the bottom, you can just gently pull them off. We need a nice clear stem to glue them onto the pumpkin. Some succulents may not have obvious nodes, so if you just pull off or cut the leaves, they may root from there. Now after you've finished cleaning up your succulent cuttings, it's time to pick a pumpkin. Take some tacky glue and spread it all over the center of the pumpkin and by its stem. Take a little moss and peel it apart. Just enough to fit the top of the pumpkin. If you need to, you can press it into the glue. Now take your cuttings and put a generous amount of glue on the ends and stick them into the moss. I like to put the bigger pieces in the middle. What you want to do is try and cover up as much of the moss as you can with the succulent cuttings. I like to leave a little moss showing around the outside edges because I think it looks better. Now when you're done, let the succulent cuttings and moss dry. Since the cuttings were fresh and they haven't calloused over, don't water the pumpkin for about a week to a week and a half. When you water your pumpkin, make sure you get the moss really wet inside. You can use a watering can like this for these mini pumpkins or just run them under the faucet. You don't want the succulents to be sitting in water in the moss. So 
After you water, gently tip the pumpkin to the side to get rid of the extra water. Also, dry off the outside of the pumpkin after each watering to reduce the possibility of the pumpkin rotting. This project is really easy for kids to do, and you have nice decoration that lasts for a few months. Here are some succulent top pumpkins we made on larger sized pumpkins last year. We ended up giving them away to friends and to Alexi's school. We hope you enjoyed this project. Hope you liked our video. Please subscribe.